In this video, we would like to elaborate on how you can respond to the substance compliance request from your customers. The declare online command from the request email which you have received directly brings you to the Substantio solution. Here, the requested parts or materials are displayed. In this case, three part declarations have been requested for new or updated declaration. As soon as you select an individual part, the right hand changes according to your selection and three additional tabs are available. Among other things, general information such as the weight, the item number or further article information, the declaration and documents are displayed. Now we come to the main aspect, the declaration. Under the tab declaration, there are two different ways to declare a request. Regulatory declaration and full material declaration. The regulatory declaration is there to indicate the controlled substance groups per regulation. In case you have regulated substance over the defined threshold, you need to specify the regulated substance group. You have to reconfirm the compliance whenever the regulation changes. The full material declaration, or sometimes referred to as full material declaration, here you have to provide a full list of all materials and substances within a part. A joker or undisclosure of non-regulated substances up to 10% is currently possible. We showed you the regulatory compliance declaration in this video. In case you have a non-regulated substance above the threshold, Confirm this was an abstract statement. If a substance or substance group is above the threshold value, or you have exemptions which apply, select, does contain, and add the regulated substance. A new panel opens where you have to add the regulated substance categories. To do this, click on the plus. All non-selected substance categories are stated as compliant. Exemptions can also be easily added to the substance group if they are available as for ROHS. To do so, click on X and you will get to the list of applicable exemptions, including the ID numbers and the validity period. As soon as you have selected a substance group, you must enter its concentration within the part. Please note that under Documents, you also have the option of uploading test reports. To do this, also go to Browse and select the desired document or simply drag and drop the file into it. Now you have to save your entries by clicking on Save. The request you have just processed now appears in green with the abbreviation RCD for the selected regulatory declaration type. You also have the option to confirm all requested parts with one click via declaring group if all parts share the same compliance declaration. Just select multiple parts using control and select the declare function. Parts which share the same declaration are listed on the top. Continue as with the individual declaration. Finally, the created declarations must be sent via submit all declarations. In case of missing information, a warning is displayed. If no warning exists, you see the supplier statement of conformity, which needs to be acknowledged. Once this is confirmed, the time of the last submission is also displayed.